Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I am super excited because we are talking about new makeup. Guys, new makeup makes me feel some sort of way, like it fills my heart in a way that I can't explain. It's really satisfying and sad at the same time. Today, I wanted to put to the test some new makeup revolution products. I feel like this is one of those brands that is slowly making its way up there in the drugstore realm, but they came out with some bomb ass products and I'm here to put them to the test. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we are talking about. These have been blowing up on YouTube. They are the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I picked up three shades because mama didn't know what shade she was gonna be and I wanted to make sure I was covered. Obviously, this isn't my shade, but I wanted to use it for contour purposes to see if maybe that was a thing or not. I also ended up picking up two new lipsticks, uh, which are these right here. I don't think these are new, but uh, you know when they get you with that, spend $5 more and you get free shipping. So I was like, okay. And then I also saw that they came out with some new palettes and honey, we got them all because we want to make sure that these are bomb, okay? The last thing that I also picked up was the strobe highlighter, which is this one right here. Like, look at this. It just looks so silky and pretty. If you guys have not yet become a part of the honey team, that is what I call you guys, my honeys, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free 99 and it's easy. Like, just click that subscribe button and you'll be notified of when I upload new videos, which is three times a week. So let's jump right in. So I already have my base on if you guys are wondering what I used. I used the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. I do have a discount code with them. My shade is Oatmeal Blend. Love this foundation. If you are an oily beast, check it out. I wish I actually would have picked up more concealer shades because I feel like these are still pretty light. Now on the Ulta website, it's very helpful because it shows you the list of the concealers, which is huge. I love that. They um, have from very pale skin to women of color, which is amazing. So like I said, it has a list and it tells you the undertones, if you're cool tone, warm tone and all that stuff. So I don't know. I think one of these might be too light for me, but that's okay. So the first shade I'm going to go in is with C8. Now this one looks pretty light. But I think this was like a medium shade, if I'm correct. One thing that I immediately noticed that I really like is that it does have a doe foot applicator. I feel like this big ass doe foot applicator became very like popular since the Tarte Shape Tape, which you guys know that's my jam. Like I love that concealer. Concealer. Now a lot of people are comparing this to the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm really interested to see if it really holds up to the hype because if it is this one's only seven dollars compared to the tarte which is 25. i'm also uh, i'm also gonna mix in c6 which is light medium i believe i don't remember but this one is pretty light you see that yeah that's pretty light i usually don't like my concealers to be this light but oh well I'm taking my beauty blender and we're just going to blend this into the heavens, honey. Okay, so that's blending out pretty decently. I do notice that it is almost like attaching itself to some areas where I have a little bit of dryness. Now I do notice that you have to work very quickly with this concealer because it is already setting on me. Honey, no. So now I'm gonna go in with C16. And I'm just going to apply this to the areas where I normally contour, which is right here, right here, 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 and then in my five head, I'm going to contour my nose. I normally don't contour my nose with a cream color honestly not my favorite thing to do but I just really wanted to test this concealer in all possible ways okay so that's blending out really nicely 
and this color is really good as well it's not like too orangey or too warm it's like the perfect color to contour with actually but see what i mean do you guys see this little this line right here if i don't take i mean if i take my time i will definitely have an issue with this line blending out oh lord what did i do okay i'm just going to try and blend it with my brush oh now i'm scared for my nose contour no why do i do this to myself me and cream contour just don't like each other apparently okay so it actually <laughs> should i just walk around in public like this okay the baking is uh hopefully going to help with the craziness girl that was intense i was not expecting it so let's reveal what's underneath this bakiness bakiness let's see what it what it reveals uh can i share something with you guys i literally have had this glue stuck to my eye for the past week i can't take it off okay we are definitely looking a little bit better i was looking crazy i did it i took off the glue and no lashes came off so that is what we are looking like after we dusted off the powder um it actually looks nice i like how the concealer blended out at the ends like when i try to hold on for dear life um so i'm quickly just going to bronze up my skin we will come back and test and play with some shadows as well as the highlight which i'm super super freaking excited for and yeah we will continue on with the video as i mentioned earlier i just couldn't help myself you guys know that i am a makeup palette junkie lover hoarder so i ended up picking up all four new palettes and i can't decide which one i want so i'm gonna do the best solution that any person would do and that's eeny meeny miny mo eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by its toe if he hollers let him go eeny meeny miny mo Ooh he is the winner winner chicken dinner so we are gonna play with the reloaded iconic division makeup revolution palette and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here and we're just going to apply no way no way what i was not expecting this oh honey 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 okay the more i build up this color the more shooketh i am okay i really want to use this shade because uh mustard hello mustard everything literally the decor in my home is mustard that's how much i love it wow this palette is full of pigments and i am here for it let's pick up let's see what shade are we gonna do i don't know i kind of want to use this one this green one wow talk about pigment i am sold if i wasn't already i am sold So I am going to go with this shadow right here and I'm just going to apply it on the lid. I know that it's pretty already because I tried to use it um, a little bit ago and it's really, really pretty. I mean, look at that pigment. It is insane, you guys. These palettes, I mean, I can speak so far for this one only, but I really think that all of them are going to be this amazing and I'm really excited because to be honest with you, there's not a lot of drugs or palettes there are some but there's not a lot that i can say wow they're actually like really really good you know what i mean so since this isn't a makeup tutorial so i'm not really going to walk you guys through the process of everything i'm just going to apply some more green shadow to the edges and then apply some lashes and i will be back to show you guys the highlight as well as the lipstick so 
stay tuned. So for my lipstick, I'm quickly going to apply Stiletto because it's the one that goes with me the best. I already lined my lips. You guys know I love me a good lip liner. This color is beautiful. Yes, love, love, love these lipsticks. Let's apply that the strobe highlighter in the shade Gold Addict. This is such a beautiful color and it just looks so pretty. Oh, yes, honey. I love how pigmented this is, but it's very soft at the same time. It's not a blinding highlight, but you can definitely, um, what do you call it? Pack it on and make it a blinding highlight. Okay, guys, and that does it for me. That wraps up this video. As you guys can see, the pigment on these are amazing, super creamy, super intense and just pigmented the blendability is there for the price you really cannot go wrong i think these are about 10 11 15 dollars a piece i'm not sure i will have a number here the lipsticks y'all know y'all know how i feel about this now the concealers i really did end up liking them i think they look really beautiful on the skin again it's just an issue with how they blend they blend okay it's just that they dry down really quickly so just make sure you work fast other than that i am pretty satisfied with everything that makeup revolution has um come out and played with lately if you guys are going to pick up any of these products let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and i will see you honeys in my next video Mwah. bye